Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and uh, we are here at uh, Ranger Station Charlie, uh, all uh, way on the extreme southeast end of the map here. And uh, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to get this place fixed up. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this task. So I think the first thing we'll do is there really isn't any... Any room in here for more stuff? Um, I was—I I need to find a place to put the forge down. I guess we could put it there. Is there a better place to put it? It fits better there, but it just seems kind of weird to put it there. Maybe if we put it around the corner here. Okay, yep, yeah, that's where we'll put the forge. Okay, um, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna do anything with that quite yet. We can, um, we can go grab some iron to put in there, um, maybe uh, when it gets dark. So let's just start cleaning crap up here. And, um, we're gonna mow the lawn here uh, at least the the big pieces of grass anyways we're gonna get rid of this because it's broken and it looks like shit okay that takes care of that all of this has to go this we can wrench okay so that cleans that up let's get this business out of here and this guy actually yeah some of this all of this um salvaging that we're doing will give us iron that we can smelt down in the forge. Okay, we need to... Uh, we need to utilize our drop chest. Well, actually, we need to... We just plain need to set up storage is what we need to do. Um, probably, I guess, makes the most sense to do storage in here. Okay. That's not a full wall, I don't think. What we could maybe do is... Let's take these cabinets out. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, though, it gives me an idea that might... make this work reasonably well um we're gonna need some nails so let's pop all of this iron in here and we're actually gonna need some clay too uh, we don't care about the sand or the stones well actually grab the stone and just top this off first and uh, the shovel as well not that it was down that far. Okay, let's actually put that on hold. I want to try something. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I want to see if I can flatten this out and put the dew collector on top of it because it is a water tank, so it kind of makes sense. Let's see what if we can do that. Okay, so it looks like this will go here. It's going to going to be floating in mid-air though. I wonder if we can I just don't like stuff floating. What if we do this? Why don't we make this into a pipe? Um, didn't we, don't we have pipe shapes? Design, deco, construction. I know we have pipe, some sort of pipe shapes in this menu somewhere. Trim. Let's 
It's not in poles. Catwalks. Hmm. Is it in this menu? Oh, I wonder if we have to make the pipes like in... No. This pillar has a kind of a pipe look on it. It's like it's got a valve that could be pointing towards that. Not that it's going to matter because it's not going to really be seen, but... Okay. Pipe flange. Oh, okay. So why don't we do this then? There we go. It doesn't quite flush up with this bottom one though. Alright, let's try this. I want to keep that one shape. Uh, what does this look like? Pipe T-joint. Pipe straight. Pipe thin corner up. That's like skinny, right? Yeah. I know. I, I'm I'm overthinking this for something that nobody's ever gonna actually see. So. So let's just do this. Let's jump back up there. Can I do an on face? Nope. I'm gonna have to rotate it. There. Okay. At least upgrade it to cobble. There we go. Okay. Uh, I like that. We might actually uh, go back and do something similar at Ranger Station uh, Delta too. But um, I mean, I know it still looks a little bit jank with these arms sitting the way they are. But I guess I probably could have turned that the other way too. But I don't think it matters that much. So the Duke Collector is in place, and the furnace is in place. And it is almost nighttime. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is um, I'm going to pause the recording, and I'm just going to hunker down and be quiet at night. Um, mostly because, well, for two reasons. One, it's, you know, it's going to be harder for you guys to see in the dark, even with the headlight. And I don't want to call in a horde and have them start tearing the shit out of this place when we're trying to fix it up. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of get up here and hunker down on the roof and be quiet. And I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, I am back. I had to, uh, to go AFK for <clears throat> quite a few hours uh, today had to do some IRL stuff. So let's just pick up right where we left off and continue on here. So what we're going to do is... Let's copy this block here and its rotation. And we'll put these in here. And it looks like we've got to bust another piece out here. And we're hungry. We can fix that. Take a couple bacon and eggs and a red tea. Let's get these upgraded. I think we'll just take these up to wood for now, anyway. And, oh, yeah, we've got a. We also need to uh, repair up here. So I need to make some more building blocks. Let's make, I don't know, another 50 of these, we'll say. Okay, and then we'll take and turn that into... that block and make sure we copy the rotation and let's get these filled in oh 
Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, now what we need to do is get these windows fixed. Um, okay, so you know what I think I'm going to do is let's copy from this side and we'll just we'll just rotate it um, over here because there's a couple different variations of these these blocks and um want to make sure we get the right ones so let's do a an advanced rotation here and these are also kind of sticking out too so we have to There. Okay, so I think that's what we want <clears throat> on that one. And then if we go over two more, or no, we skip one and then we go here. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think that's going to let me attach that because we have to put the next one in. All right, if we take that out... Will it stay at the rotation that we had? I don't think it will. Okay, so let's copy this block, or shape rather. And then what if what if we did a non-face? Nope, that doesn't quite work. That works. There we go, okay. All right, now we need another, well, we need this one again, but I don't know if it's gonna retain the same rotation that it had. No, it doesn't, okay. So let's try this again, an on face and then just one rotation. That works. That works, okay. And then this one is good. And then this one we can just copy this block again easily. Copy shape, copy rotation, and stick it right there. Okay. Now I think we need the same block on this side. We just have to flip it the other direction. All right. So let's do copy shape on face. Yeah. See, that's not going to work. Okay. We're going to have to do an advanced rotation on this one. There. Okay, good. So that, <clears throat> excuse me, that gets the bottom pane in. And then I think what we're going to want here is, let's copy this one. Let's try an, an on face again. And then just like that. Right? No. No. Other way. Like that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and then I think we use the same block. We just got to flip it the other way. There. Okay. Uh-oh. Mm, we screwed something up. All right, here. Let's turn this back into a normal block so we can use it to measure. So from here to here, we got one, two, and then the post. One, two, and then the post. Okay, so that's the right measurement there. And then we go from the edge of the post to the edge of the post. So from the edge of the post to, so this is the wrong right here. We didn't do that part right. I think that means then that this needs to, this needs to be, wait. No, see that's what we did last time and it wasn't working. So I think we take a 
Copy shape, copy rotation. No. It does go this way. Okay. So, on face. Nope, advanced rotation. This is not as straightforward as it uh, as it first appears. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that should be correct, because that means this block should be at the edge on that side and at the edge on this side. Okay, I think that's correct. I think we did it that time. <clears throat> um, and then probably though we just have to put um, this one in. Copy shape. No, not that one. It's the one that's just two. Yeah, I think that one. Okay, and then we just go like that. Oh, that's a single bar, though. All right, isn't there one that's like... Here, let's go in there. So we're working with window panes. I think we want one of these, two-sided full. Yeah, I think this is the one we want. You just have to get at the right angle. I think that's that's what the doctor ordered. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that's not as straightforward as it as it first appears, because you really have to figure out the right angles, the right blocks, that sort of thing. Okay, now if we just hit that, I guess we upgrade the glass. Which is interesting because I don't have any glass in my inventory, but it looks like it's using scrap iron. Yep, uh, well, is it? Those aren't. That one is, though. What's the difference? Don't know. That one used scrap iron. I think that just used a board. <coughs> okay, let's try this one. Okay, that one used iron. That one used iron. You know what, though? I think it's because these are actually made out of iron, whereas these are wood. But you can't tell the difference. It all looks the same. So I, I think that's what's happening there. Okay. And Oh, and we're out of iron, too. Okay, so we're going to have to go get some iron uh, to finish this up. So let's let's do that. We're just going to go out and find a, a little iron node somewhere close by and get enough of it to finish repairing those windows. And then I think we're done. I think we got this place all nice and fixed up. So let's see. If we look at the map, uh, looks like there's an iron node right there. All right, so we left off over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it. I think that completely repairs everything. Um, is this server actually working? Looks like the lights are on. I'm trying to see if uh, I thought maybe for a moment one of them was flashing. Um, it looks to me like We only have one working light in here, though. But I'm not sure how to repair that unless we go into the creative menu and we go light. Silver LED light panel. Is... I don't know if those are the the ones we're talking about. What if we went like ceiling light? <clears throat> no. I think it is those light panels. I just don't know which one. And what does the up arrow mean? Offset panel. LED silver. 
Let's just try one of these. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. Okay, so here, let's do this. So we get about two electrical, two plastic, and five iron. It's not exactly the same every time, but. So what we'll just, let's just say that we got um, six electrical, uh, six plastic, and 15 iron. Just to, we're basically using, reusing these materials to uh, repair those lights. So six of those. And sick plastic, I think I said. Whoops, no, not repair kits. Close enough. Doesn't have to be perfect, but close enough. Okay. Oh, it still doesn't work. Wait a minute. It looks like it works when I'm holding on to it. That says offset one, offset two. I'll, you know what? I wonder if we, if, wonder if those have to be powered. If we turn dev blocks on, did that? What did that change? It added more stuff, but I don't know exactly what it added. More white ones? Hmm. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know how to get that to work. So I guess we're just going to put them back and pretend that they work. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Um, okay. So, yeah, guys, I think that uh, that finishes um, Ranger Station Charlie here. We're getting it all fixed up. So, oh. Oh, man, I thought I checked all these. Here, let's check them again. We're just going to run up and down. That needs some repair. Okay, so I guess it's just that one that was missed. Okay. Okay. So, yep, yeah, this place is all fixed up. It's as good as it's going to get. So, I think what we'll have to do now... <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> is... Um, did I pick up my... Yeah, we need to pick up the workbench. Because we're not leaving that here. We're going to leave the forge here, but we're not going to leave the workbench here. And uh, we've, we'll just pretend like, uh, well, the generator was still working, so we just turned it on to generate electricity. Um, that's working. We'll leave that there, too. So if we do ever come out this way again, we have a, an outpost to go to. And same here. Uh, we'll just leave. In fact, here, let's just put all of this in here because I don't want to take it back with me. And smelt it down. And then, again, if we ever need to come back here, we can do that. Um, what I might do, though, is we have three feathers. Let's make three more of these. If the forge was was more expensive than it was, I wouldn't leave it here, but they're really not that expensive. Um, so that's why I'm just going to leave it here, because I don't think it's a big deal. That door's locked. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. We got the cooking stuff in here. If we do ever come back here, we'll have um, three waters. And let's leave some clay. A little bit of cobblestone. 
little bit of cloth. I think I'll take the forged iron back with me. Uh, we'll put the stone in there, but let's repair our two stone tools first. Uh, oh, that one's not even damaged. Okay. Maybe we'll leave a couple of first aid bandages. Oh, we don't need those anymore <clears throat> in here. And that's pretty good. And we'll leave we'll leave some eggs in there too. Okay, cool. Uh, let's put the agility glasses back on. Do we have a point to spend? We do. Okay, let's go back to agility. Um, so I think I think we have everything we can get with, without raising agility itself again. So let's raise agility itself again. Oh, it takes two points. Oh, okay. So we'll just have to wait till we get the next level, and then we'll raise that to two points. Okay, so let's pick this up. And we are done. We'll have to give uh, Zulu Tango Foxtrot a call and say, um, and let him know that uh, Ranger Station Charlie is online and ready for COP. We'll tap that. Um in case you're wondering, COP basically means like um, uh, a camp with uh, within the enemy territory, I believe, something to that effect. So yeah, and I'm not a I'm not actually a veteran myself. I I've, I've I had to look some of that stuff up because I wanted I wanted to uh, use you know just for fun use some of the the military terms that are actually used. So when you hear me say things like um. Tango uniform, for example, that that actually means tits up. It means you're dead. <laughs> and um, Alpha Charlie means ass chewing. Um, what are some of the other funny ones that we've used in our radio conversations? Um, uh, Tango Bravo or one of those mean means basically it means thank you or much appreciated. Or no, I think it's Tango Mike. Yeah, I think it's Tango Mike. Anyway, yeah, I, I I looked all those up. I, I'm not, I don't didn't actually. I knew some of them, but I didn't know most of those. Anyway, all right, you guys, that is it for this episode. Um, what what we're gonna do next is we're going to go up to this POI and loot it, and we'll we'll just do these other POIs here in the extreme southeast corner of the map, just randomly go through them and loot them and get the bat loots and stuff. But the problem is that it's really late. So, I it might actually behoove me just to stay the night here and just hunker down in AFK and then set out in the morning. So, I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So, tomorrow, uh, in, tomorrow morning in-game and in the next episode, we will go um, check out these POIs here, do them, and then work our way back to town. And then figure out what our next move is. We may end up staying, I think I already said this, but we'll probably end up staying in our little town and keep doing jobs for Wrecked until Horde 14 is over. And then after that, we'll set out. Maybe. I don't know. That's not for sure yet. We might um, we might leave before then or not. We'll see. But uh, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.